Yes! What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended! That's right, we are here back to try again for the car char. Yes, or the car car, whatever the crap you want to call it. We ran into some problems last time where we were unable to complete it because of server settings. Well, I went, I fixed the settings. It took me a while to figure out all the different ones. We're actually running now on PVP. However, this should mean that we can tame off a of babies, or at least let's hope. I haven't tested it yet, but from everything I can see, it seems like it will work. So yes, we have got one trapped. Unfortunately, it does a dino wipe when I had to bring down the server, but I was able to get one that is the same level. So not quite as cool looking, but it's still pretty cool. So if we just imagine this is basically the same thing. I did a couple of other improvements, um, more neatly put up the gates too to surround it in case things go wrong. Cause yes, it can glitch out if, uh, if it goes out of render. So you know, different things to uh, consider. I also went, I put our generator into a metal box and it should be able to reach so that I can put ACs down. I have ACs here and I made up four more and I've got a vault here to hold a bunch of her stuff. I have the RG over there with even more eggs. Yes, I had to lay all the eggs again. It was a real pain in the butt. It took me all day, but we're here. And to celebrate, we are at max level i do believe until we get into uh fighting bosses 105 finally it took us long enough but we are here so let's get on with the day guys let's get uh some rex babies hatched out to start off the process awesome jeez we got how many twins just one pair of twins all right. So anyway, um, we should now be able to uh, defeat these guys. Let me go ahead. I If I claim it, I should be able to hit it. And then it should also work for the non-claimed ones too. Hey, where are you guys going? Where do you think you're going? Yes, that's what we want to see. Because that's what the problem was. We were unable to hit anything that was claimed. And uh, it's got to be, it can't be your own dino that it hits. So, however, babies on PvP you're able to hit if they're unclaimed or any unclaimed dino for that matter. So, it looks like we are likely good to go. Let's go ahead, dump out a bunch of our shenanigans that we're not going to need on us at this exact moment in time in case things go wrong. All right, beautiful. And we'll just start to drag them over and see what happens. I think it should be able to, with our rates, get into the uh, the mode we want to start attacking and mount it after one Rex baby. And this is a good Rex baby, too. Look at that. Oh, amazing. But anyway, guys, just want to remind you, if you're enjoying this series, to show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe. Also, don't forget, we do have servers up for any of you that would like to play along with us. Just head on over to the Discord if you would like more info. It is for YouTube members and Twitch subscribers. But since we just got a partnership with Nitrado, we may have some free to join one. Join one shortly as well. Again, just head on over to the Discord when uh, if you'd like more info. All right, here it goes. I'm going to leave my armor on this time because uh, one common thing that would happen is we would trip on the babies and get stuck. And that would usually kiss us. So it might with our armor. All right. All right. Oh, stupid guy. It doesn't let go when I want him to. All right. Let go. Oh, all right. That saved our butt since it bit us once. All right. Golden. Let's go on over. Ride him. All right. Now it shouldn't aggro, I believe. All right. Let's get out some more eggs. 
One, two, three, and I got them close to hatching already. Let's get the ACs. The power should reach. Let's go on to this other side. Let's go ahead. Set. Bada bing. Bada boom. Bada boom. Bada boom. All right. For these first ones, I am not going to even claim and unclaim these. Let's just hope they don't wander away. I think they shouldn't. All right. Let's pick up. Pick up. Pick up. And pick up. All right. Beautiful. Let's go over here. No, we want the door to open this way. All right, hopefully he's not going to be stuck. All right, beautiful. And here we go. Please work. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Did it get all of them? All right, beautiful. Let's hop off. Let's close the door. We need more of them. All right, we got to hurry with this. Uh, oh, I think he's about to run up. Oh. What's that yellow? Oh, that's his taming efficiency. Crap. All right, let's get some more babies hatched. I should have done it. Now that I know, I should have done it all at once. All right. It might, I don't know if it would do better if they were claimed. All right, I've got even more eggs over here. Egg, egg. Let's just get a whole crap ton of them. All right, come on. Got all those hatched. All right, so it might kick us, but we'll just find out. Now, if I, if we had cryopods, we'd be able to do even better. All right, can I still ride on him? All right, all right. Finish up the job, bro. Oh, please. Yes, we did it. Oh, we could have done it all in one go, too, if we had them all out. But that is a beautiful thing. Look at guys. Holy crap. 450. I believe that's perfectly tamed. My goodness. Oh, I am so happy we could finally, finally do this. Awesome. All right. Next up, we need to get ourselves a saddle. Let's put them on to passive. Let's get them on out of here and we can save this whole pen, I guess, for in case we have another one. I don't know. Crap. We can't mount on them until we get a saddle. All right. Let's make the journey home. And you know what? I actually have something kind of fun to show you. I have been working on the base a little bit. I added in some new things that, uh, I don't know, should be pretty cool. Let's see here. Let's just turn you off. I'll leave that in there in case we come across another one. But this trap, I have to say, worked out perfectly. And we just had to have it onto PVP. All right. Let's see. We fit through here. I'm just curious now that it's tamed. Oh, this is so amazing. I just wish we could have done it with the first one yesterday. It's so stupid how they have the arc settings like that. And oh, oh, need to need to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of a diet there. Get those hips through. All right. That should be enough. Come on, buddy. Awesome. And then the outer stone walls, that's just so if I, if he does glitch out, if I were to get kissed, oh, we, uh, it would hopefully contain him inside of here. So anyway, let's get Mr. RG out. Awesome. And let's head home. Let's get you a saddle, buddy. I'm almost positive. We have had a saddle from one of these, a blueprint for one. I'm going to have to double check, but I'm almost positive we we do. All right, come on, come on. Oh, I cannot wait. 
I have no idea if you can breed these guys either. What do we get? A male or female? Male. All right, awesome. All right, come on, buddy. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be my first time ever, ever riding on one of these. What an awesome model. I have to say, thus far, I do like this guy way better than a Giga. I'll find out once I actually see what the stats are like. But it seems like it's way more usable. All right, so it's not much. Whoop, whoop. Actually, let's get it in, but you can already... Can you tell? Can you see what I did? What I got added? All right, come on, buddy, bro. Over here. Can you make it? All right, let's see if this, if I close this, if it, if he's considered, all right, he's considered in. All right, good enough for me, good enough for me. Chill out, buddy bro. All right, so it's still work in progress. I I need to, uh, you know, re reorganize some things, but before it was just this one room. Well, I went ahead and I got a bunch of loot drops while I was dealing with doing all this stuff. And I started filling in. And I got enough for the foundation. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go all in. Plus, we got all those new anklos. So it made getting metal so much easier. And we just had to get one of these up and running. So anyway, we have a room for this, which is cool. Um, and you may ask yourself, how are you going to reload this? Well, we have another floor over here. You can actually access it from up here and then up from the roof sometimes you can get lucky and reach in but anyway we have then a third floor so we'll have to figure out what i might do is replace a bunch of these with a greenhouse and have our greenhouse and plants and stuff possibly be in this room so one consideration or i could do it over on this side and have it in that room so i haven't decided which yet but with this, since we have both the Quets and the, uh, the uh, I'm going to call him the Rhino, Rhino Bug, um, we can drop our uh, Anklos and everything up here. And then if I need to, I should be able to even walk them in if I have to go. I, I got to play around with the ramps and different stuff. But I've sometimes been able, oh, yeah, to access it from there. So otherwise, that's why I have this other floor here. I can just walk the anklos into that floor, drop them in, and then I should be able to load it up. So, and of course, anklos can be brought in. Otherwise, I'll figure it out, but I am happy. And I think this looks so much cooler for this outpost. And then, of course, all these are the secret doors for easy in, easy out. Awesome. All right. Now comes the question. Do I have a blueprint? I almost swear that I do. Yeah. Oh, I got a straight saddle and it's a good one. Oh, I did not even remember getting that. All right. Immediately got to color it. And uh, yeah, let's get this guy and try him out. Oh, and I forgot to show you part of the cool uh, part of this design, if you could call it, is I can actually access the industrial forge right there and then get into my smithy and get into wherever. So, yeah, it is super duper helpful handy. I might even move the fabricator. Now that we have that, I can get rid of all this stuff. If the fabricator will fit, which I might be able to maneuver it. So I love it. All right. Let's go try out our new guy. Saddle is all colored. I put my paint away. Oh, oh. Let's get rid of these rocks. Now, why I'm carrying around rocks. All right. So, oh, and let's also get... We don't need all the stuff. All right, thank you. I had backups of, like, everything just in case anything could go wrong. Oh, it's so scary. All right. Um, there, and this is what I need. Awesome. And then, hey, you know what? We're going to have all these extras as Rex babies. Oh, we'll have to hatch those out too today. To start, you know, we got to start working on the Rex army. All right. Um, saddle. 
dude. What an epic saddle. All right. Dude, who are you stuck on? Is it stuck on the bug? Is the bu Are you causing problems? I think he is. All right, Mr. All healed up. All right, good. Remember our buggy bug? Almost. Almost. Was lost yesterday. Trying to get the dumb Rexes over. Actually, I might have cut that footage. Yesterday, I went on for almost two hours trying all different ways to tame this stinking guy. And it ended up just being the settings. But I think I might have cut that out just because it's so disappointing to have it such length trying to do something and then have it not work out. But I think it worked out. Dude. What a beautiful, beautiful creature. So stamina definitely stays up way longer than on a Giga. Oh, heck yeah. I really like it. All right, we got to get some uh, shenanigans into it. So 20,000 health, stamina is still not super high. <laughs> 420 on the uh, attack and almost 1,500 on the weight. Definitely not bad. All right, I can see how this would be annoying to other people. All right, can we get around it? Well, I guess we're going to find out how he swims. Actually, he's pretty tall. I may not have to swim. Dude, that's awesome. All right, first hit. Wow. That is incredible damage to, to boot. Like, and this is without... So, how this guy works is, um, as you're killing, you get your bloodlust that, like, moves up. And you do more and more damage. And you can go and do different things to, you know kiss a whole bunch of your own guys to get it up immediately let's see and then we also have right click all right doesn't do much, nearly as much damage but great for that aoe oh this thing is awesome who already filled up raw prime Awesome, 24 levels already. I mean, honestly, you almost don't need to pump it up. It's so good as is. Good Lord. I mean, unless you're fighting another one of these or a Giga or a boss. That is quite suitable damage. All right, let's go fight this guy. Now, some of those might be those uh, headshot type of shots. And not his actual hits. See, that's his probably his actual hit right there. Oh my goodness. But I think it's probably going up over time, huh? I'll be honest with you, I haven't read entirely how the whole um, mechanic works with him, so I'll have to look that up. This is sweet. All right, so we're already at 28. I think it goes up to 100. And then if you do his uh, his roar, it like releases it all. Oh, this is great. All right, I think we should probably start to bo uh, boost him up. Awesome, awesome. All right, how do we want to do it? Do we want to experiment and see what a stamina point does? Because I could see wanting minorly more stamina. I'm going to guess it's a waste, but let's just see. It's not, it's not great, but it's not horrible. It's definitely enough that I'm going to invest a little bit into it. I just want it at 1,000. All right, I probably shouldn't have invested this much. That was probably a waste, but whatever. Here it goes. Awesome. That did not go up very much, which is interesting. In fact, you may not want to boost much into melee. Holy crap. I wish I was paying attention. 
I could definitely see wanting to do more of like a health scenario. I haven't boosted the health yet to see what it goes up by, but the stamina definitely went up, I think, more. Oh, this is so cool. So already at 41. I do like that extra stamina, though. I'm not going to lie. Now, here's another question. If I dismount, will it lose it? This I don't know. But I am building out of metal, so I want that cementing paste whenever possible. All right. Nope. Didn't drop off. That's pretty neat. All right. You know what? We're not getting anything special, so I'm just going to leave them loaded up. Because I'm too annoying to uh, keep emptying them out. Those babies, they just give so much prime. Good Lord, this guy. Oh, crap. Is that a beaver dam? I might have broke it if it was. All right, let's go look. Can't even tell from that height. No. Nope, neither was. It really is the perfect size, though. All right. We're going down. We got to get our uh, little hits up. You know what? I bet you getting fish is makes it really quick. Up oh, 51. Hold on, can we top that? All right. Let's start to get some of our stamina back. All right, come on, stamina. Let's go back. All right, what does this other thing say? So blood rage, that's what it's called. All right, let's keep on going. Yeah, and look at look at its eyes. I'm assuming that's why it has the blood rage. Crazy big eyes. All right, I'm going to hold off on putting more levels into it until I can actually look up what each level boost is. All right, 72. Dude, imagine a modded one that had like went up to a thousand. That would be insane. All right, stamina is all the way gone. Let's get it back. Oh, crap. I pressed the thing that released it all. Why? All right, let's get it back up. Oh, that's so disappointing. I hit the C just because usually creatures that do like tail swings like this, a lot of times it's the C move. Ah. Oh. All right, um, I'm going to get them boosted back up, and then I'll see you back. All right, doing amazing. Oh, I love this thing so much. I did have a chance to uh, read up a little bit about them. Look at that. We're at 100 stacks, so max stacks. That's beautiful. So there's two different buffs. You can see the one that's counting down from 10. And that's every time we uh, were able to kill something, we get that. And that is cold killing frenzy. And that will give us a boost to, oh my goodness. Can we get out of here? Raw prime, get out of here. We're gonna have to go back up to a hundred again. Seriously, guys, how about some of those steely guys come over and uh, help me out? Oh, can we get back up? All right, there we go. Give me, yes! 
All right, so Killing Frenzy, that is going to do a couple of things. Uh, it gives us a buff for 10 seconds, which boosts the movement speed and makes our guy immune to stuns for the entire time that the buff is going. Um, and that is not a stacking type timer. So it's just based on every guy you get. Let's see it. We'll see the timer go up. Boom. And we get it for... it's a. It says 10 seconds, but it feels like it's less than that. But anyway, all right. Then on top of that, we then get the Blood Rage, which as you can see, it stacks up to 100 and it's alongside the uh, the Frenzy one as well. And this will boost our healing rate the higher it is and give a boost of melee damage of 1.75 per stack. So we have 100 that is craziness and let's see so ending in a whopping 175 percent increased damage and heal rate but it degrades and you can see it degrading right now and the longer you go without getting something the faster it's going to start to degrade now we can release all of our stacks of blood rage and this will basically help out other things on our team and uh basically let's see let me read the exact wording um let's see okay so on roaring any and all stacks of blood rage are consumed to provide the incited buff um to all nearby allies however it does not work on our guy which is kind of sad face but it will work on other of the same uh species if they're around so basically anyone that's not the one that roars Ooh, let's see what what are you a 90 should we get him real quick oh let me uh let me dump all this oh Come here, bro. Let's go, buggy bug. Unfortunately, I don't have any projectiles. But anyway, it will it will pass on all of our buffs over to any any other creatures in the area. So it makes for a good support creature if you uh, so choose. Again, raw prime. All right, come here, bro. Cannot shoot off of him, which is a little sad face. Come here. I know you see me. I love having the scope on the shoddy. Oh, he's fighting with a dimorph. Come on, you're making my blood rage go away. Maybe I should try and hit the dimorph. All right, finally. All right, come on, let's get him. I wish the roar would also do some other type of damage or something, so it's not going to be that exciting for just us to do it. Epic. Oh, was that a female? Crap, I was hoping to get another uh, thing. So this guy in a nutshell is, I think, the most powerful creature in Ark. Of course, you know, once stacks are there, I 100% prefer this over the Giga, at least for using regularly as a mount. Like, this thing is awesome. You can travel so far. There's, like, really, it seems like very few drawbacks. It is quite cool. But anyway, I think we did good today, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's release our roar. Yes. There you go. All for basically nothing. But I'm still weighed down. Go away. Boom and boom. I It's probably a good idea to turn off harvesting when using this guy. But it still hits for a pretty hefty amount. So anyway, I think today has been awesome. We finally got our guy, which should have been got last time. But hey. We got him today, and we had time to take him out and try him. Oh, he's so cool. I love everything about him. But anyway, thank you so very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As you always do, please remember to show that amazing support 
by slamming that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe to the Daily Arc Awesomeness. And uh, I think this guy deserves a name. I know I've been bad about it this season, but yeah, this one definitely deserves a name. So what should we name it? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks again. And as always, peace out.